Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another um, Python tutorial working with PIL, or PIL, the Python image library. And uh, next I want to introduce to you guys the thumbnail function. So, the thumbnail function is um, a function that will just very easily, very simple, create like a thumbnail. Like if you were viewing your stuff in a file manager or like Windows Explorer, if you're that kind of person, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Sorry, that was that was crude. Um, you might see like thumbnails to represent a smaller portion of the image, so you don't have to open it up and still see it. So let's take a look at it. Thumbnail takes um one argument. It's mandatory. It actually takes a tuple or a size of the uh, the new image. So 128 and 128. I figure that's like a, a decent default size for a thumbnail. And um, it actually modifies the original image in memory, so it's not going to return anything new. We have to actually have to show it after it's been done. And now you can see I got a really, really tiny uh, Python logo. <laughs> now another actually optional argument is a filter. So let's go ahead and import image filter, and just to add some pizzazz. Let's say we do want to say uh, the image filter can have a a blur put on there and let's see how this looks oh okay value unknown resampling filter well let's take a look at that filter argument works in the way as resize does so okay this actually does not take the um, interpolation I'm sorry wow my mind is just getting scattered right now <laughs> the um, image filter is not actually part of the image filter module I was mistaken. It's working with some of the filters that the image module actually provides itself. If in case anything gets skewed when you're trying to resize um, the image, so you can supply like nearest. So if a color when it's shrunk down or pixels when they're shrunk down may not fit an actual pixel size, the color will fill over to the nearest one. Now let's try this. I see that works for us. Okay, cool. Typically. I would just leave the filter blank, but you have the option. I would look through some of the constants, though, in the image uh, module documentation and see what constants you could use for an image filter. Thanks, guys. Bye.